Ugh, you know what I'm craving? Donuts. <laughs> no, not those donuts, air donuts. And I think I'll make some for myself with my mini Vortex Blaster experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab some matches because we're about to make our favorite tasty treat out of air. To make our tasty, delicious air donuts, here's what you need. Some scissors, a plastic bottle, a balloon, and some matches, or if you have incense or a fog machine, that will work even better. This is just to create that smoke or fog that will allow us to see our air donuts. So first what you wanna do is take your plastic bottle and we are gonna cut just about one inch below the surface. We're gonna cut all of this off. So take your scissors and just cut away. Just like that, that's perfect. And now take your balloon and cut about one inch below the opening. Just like so. Take your balloon and place it over the back of your bottle. Come on, buddy. Oh, here we go, here we go. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Go, 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 go. Da, da, da. Perfect. So this is going to be your mini Vortex Blaster. But what we need is to add smoke to the inside of our bottle. We can do this in a couple different ways. You can light two matches and just throw them into your bottle, hold the end and let the smoke build. Or what I'm gonna do, you can light your incense, blow it out, and then let your incense stay in your bottle for about 10 seconds. And once that's done, take your incense out. So we're gonna do this one. Now, parents and adults, because we are working with fire, please exercise caution here. This is something that you should be doing. So go ahead and light the incense. Let your incense burn for about 10 seconds before you blow it out. Now I'm gonna blow it out. Place it inside my bottle, being careful not to touch the balloon so you don't burn the balloon. I'm just holding it, my hand over the top so that all that smoke collects in my bottle. All right, once that's done, Carefully take your incense out. And now watch this. Tap the end of your balloon. Do you see those smoke rings? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at these beautiful air donuts. These are so good. Look at that one. That one was so good. Look. Oh, that was a good one. Look at that one. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that was, oh my gosh, that one was so good. A little bit moving over the black paper. The best way to be able to see your air donuts is with a dark background. So try to do these against maybe a dark wall or over a dark floor. That will help you see them even better. So what's happening here? Well, when you push the back of your bottle, you're creating this column of air that's going outward. But right in the center of your bottle, that's not touching anything. So that's moving the fastest. And because it's moving the fastest, thanks to Bernoulli's principle, we know that that's an area of low pressure. But the area, the air right around here, on the circumference of your column, that's getting slowed down by the friction of the bottle. And because it's slower moving air, that's an area of high pressure. So you have fast moving air, low pressure in the center, high pressure on the outside. And that pressure difference is creating a vortex. And that vortex is in the shape of a donut. Thanks for making a mini vortex blaster with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.